Nobody's leaving. Nobody's walking out on this fun old-fashioned family Christmas. No, no, we're all in this together. This is a full-blown four-alarm holiday emergency here. We're going to press on, and we're going to have the hap, hap, happiest Christmas since Bing Crosby tap danced with Danny fucking K. And when Santa squeezes his fat white ass down that chimney night, he's going to find the jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the nut house. <laughs> Is this thing on? Hello everyone. Thanks for joining us at the bar. Don't forget to take care of your server, even if that happens to be you. Let's head over to the table to see what Bob, Jason and Brian are up to today. And here we are. We're finally right. back. A week before Christmas Eve, right? Yeah, no shit. Man, we have been out for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, COVID. What was our last show? The 5th or some shit? Something like that. Yeah, I think it was. Man, yeah. It's 5th, 5th <clears throat> of uh, November. So between <laughs> me having horrific bron- bronchitis, that yeah, the lingering bad. cough, and then the NZ household. <clears throat> yeah, the house of plague. You know, shit. The wife had it, and then uh, the oldest daughter had it. Yep. I've tested twice negative, and the youngest of 10 is she's still fine. It's not the only test you've ever failed, bro. Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah. And Bob, yeah. the only that thing that kills is Bob is right. garlic or steak through the heart. So he's, <laughs> right. <laughs> he's, he's been fine. And uh, so now my voice is just more sultry. It is. Sounds kind of It's kind of deeper. Yeah, it is. And phlegmy. It's the lung butter. Lung <laughs> butter. <laughs> right? I've got that 12-pack of smoke spread. <clears throat> And voice going on, but yeah. Well, Brian, the other day we were on the phone talking about missing shows because you were running the House of Plague, and yes, Jason was coughing up along, and uh, you, you were discussing that uh, your wife was watching The Matrix for the very first time, and you couldn't believe that she had never saw it. Right. And I yeah. made some kind of offhanded comment. Well, you know, when she came out, she was twelve. Yeah. Well, <laughs> actually, she was not. She she uh, sent me a message the other day, and she wanted me to remind you uh, she figures. was thirteen when it came out. 13. Good Lord. Right. She wasn't into I, the Matrix at 13, I'm sure. Yeah, God. Was that 1980? What What? What was it? I think no, it was 99. 90s, yeah. God dang. See see how bad that sounds when you turn that? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> it don't sound bad to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, remember, you know, I'm, <laughs> I've been yeah. in a situation, you know, with a couple of younger girls, and who gives a shit? Yeah, man. It's, it's not it's, like, you know, you're stealing them from fucking Sunday school or something. No, but it's just crazy when you, like, well, I'll mention something. She goes, oh, yeah, I was six when that came out. Yeah, I'm no, like, no, weird. <laughs> it makes me feel very weird. Or, like, you know, there's a girl that I'm kind of seeing, you know, <laughs> and, um, I'll be like, yeah, you know, do you remember? You know, no, I wasn't. I was a baby. <laughs> you know, I wasn't born. <laughs> She's younger than my youngest child. <laughs> oh, awesome! <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Trust me, it's not. There's nothing, nothing good about that. You know, I mean, then why are you there? I mean, there's parts that's good. You know, I'm just, just, <laughs> just saying it's just there's a bad, parts of it that are good. It's just a bad thing, you know. I, but, you know, speaking of the Matrix, you know the, the, the new one's coming out on December the 22nd. Right. That's why they're showing the other ones yeah. now. That's well, why they're, they're yeah, popular. I guess that's why they're on there. Um, you know, honestly, after watching all three of them, it wasn't that good to me. What? I know Kung Fu. It was, when you, if you watch it, have you watched it again since? Yes. No. Again? You know, I, I, I have over time, but, you know, um, for me, you know, the first one's the best. Yeah. But I like it when he gets even more, you know, Powerful and stuff. I, I think it was the second one where all the Asians just come piling in from outside. Yeah, no, that was pretty that wicked. Was a, that was a good scene. Yes. I like that one. Um, but I'm not big on. I know this. Y'all's gonna think this. I like just, that albino Robin Fab looking you know, oh, yeah. guys with the yeah. <laughs> with the straight razors. Yes, those evil mother brothers. I cannot yeah. stand any of these superhero movies or flicks like that when they do the. The, when they hit the ground, how they look down and they look up. That just the Superman, the Superman look. Yes, that, yeah. is, that, that annoys me. 
I, I don't know why. It's like I'm getting in a three shot foot, me. three point football stance. Man, it just makes for you know visually you know cool. I know, but thing. they always still get their ass kicked after doing that. There's it, no difference. Everybody gets their ass kicked. But it looks stupid to just land front on your, just stand on your feet, looking around with your thumb up your ass. <laughs> you know, if you just came out of the sky, it's much more dramatic. Of boom, you hit the ground and the asphalt crumbles and caves in. Really looks like it's really powerful and heavy. And there's you know not just some guy that comes you know yeah. splat. And hit him falls and be like, I'm good. I mean, right. how, how would you su- suggest? It's like on Terminator when, you know, the first one, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, the sphere, and he's all kneeled down naked and shit. What the fuck's that about? <laughs> <laughs> Your clothes, give them to me. I just realized something that I was going to say about the show, but I just answered myself. Um, Okay, you know the part where he uh, he ends up taking all them on in that apartment complex, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, and he whips all their asses, right? Shit loads of them. Right. But then on the third one, or was that in the third one also? No, I think that was the second one. But in the third one, he ends up fighting him by himself, and he gets his ass kicked. You just took on a shitload of him, but now I just <laughs> remembered that's when he had taken over the Oracle. Yeah. And then now he's way more powerful because he, he destroyed the Oracle and took her body. And so now he can actually whoop Neo's ass. But the first time he couldn't do it with the hundred of them, but he can do it by himself now. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think I, I think I I was started picking that movie apart is what happened. Yeah. And I started seeing stuff that I thought was kind of ridiculous. Let's talk about it. something that's really ridiculous to the goddamn Cohen brothers. Who? Uh, the Cohen brothers. Yeah, you know, right? Direct that shit. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let me tell you, not only are they super talented and they've done all kinds of neat movies, but also one of them is transgendered. Really? And he was mm. dating a transgendered person at one point who, it was my understanding, kind of talked him into the, In fact, this woman, I think it's a woman. I'm not sure what their pronouns are. A couple of people that they've dated went on to become transgender. Like they talked them into it. They changed yeah, some kind of weird shit. Read mm. up about it. That's weird. But yeah, it's not the Cohen brothers anymore. <laughs> but, and yeah, it, wow, it really is. It, it is. Now it's just the Cohen siblings. Yeah. The, <laughs> the Cohen siblings. pronouns. Um, yeah. Let me see if I can. I wonder find. if we sent Bob over there and left him there for a couple of years. If he would come back as uh no Bobby. No, let me see here. You, you don't think they could change you, Bob? I don't think so. No, I don't, I, you know, I don't think so either. I really don't. No, no, could they change I mean, Jason? Is it, was it, is it the Cohen brothers or is it the Wachowskis? Hell, I don't know. You're the encyclopedia over there, not I mean, me. I think it's the Wachowskis. I mean, I've seen enough dicks watching porn. That doesn't do anything that, for you me. Nev- so. never got you excited? No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, all right, so. cool. Jason, you ever got excited over a dick in a porn? No. No, I haven't either. Just as, excited, just his own. Got excited about some bitch crying because the guy, <laughs> because the guy who didn't ask for permission on the anal thing. No, <laughs> you're serious. So, okay. <laughs> the Wachowski brothers. Man, I fucked that up. Okay. I think I just besmirched <laughs> so the image of the, of the Cohen <laughs> brothers. Hang on. Oh my gosh! Wow, well, we need to take this legal. Oh shit! Holy yeah. shit! Let's see. Uh, Cohen, if I put in Cohen Brothers, if I put in Cohen Brothers, hang on, I'm looking here. So, yeah, no, 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 they're Joel fine. Joel and Ethan Cohen. Yes. God, I'm so sorry. They've done so much great work. <laughs> Fargo, The Big Lebowski, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, No Country for Old Men, all kinds of stuff. Remake of True Grit. Um, no, it's the freaking Wachowskis. So, now, hey, the Wachowskis? Hold on. Inside Lou and Don, or I'm sorry. Lana Wachowski, formerly known as Larry Wachowski, and Lily Wachowski, formerly known as Andy Wachowski. They're both trans. What? Yep. And who are these people? The, the Wachowski direct- brothers, as in the Matrix. Oh, okay, those Not guys. Not the fucking okay, Coens. God. Oh, man, I feel bad about that. So, collectively known as the Wachowskis, the sisters have worked as a writing directing team through most of their careers. Um, let's see, their second film was The Matrix. Um, but that whole thing, let, let me see if I can find personal lives. Lily married Elisa Blassengame in 91. In 2016... Lily mentioned having a boyfriend. In 2019, she said Mickey Ray Mahoney because her partner became her partner and moved in with her. 
Wow. Um, he's a trans man. Lana married Thea Bloom in 93. Following the release of The Matrix, um, Lana began attending the Los Angeles BDSM club, The Dungeon, where she met Karen Winslow, who worked there as a dominatrix under the name Lisa yeah. Strix. Bloom divorced Lana in 2002 after discovering the relationship. They made their first public appearance together at The Matrix Reloaded in 2003, married in 2009. Um, so they were both raised by a hardcore atheist father and an ex-Catholic turned shamanistic mother. Um, Holy shit. Yeah. They're, they're so, weird. Oh, so the gender transition. Rumors that Lana Wachowski was transitioning spread in the early 2000s, but neither sibling spoke directly on it at the time. Um, let's see. In fact, 2007, Joel Silver, the producer of multiple films of theirs, Said the rumors were all untrue, um, you know. So, but they did complete the transition, or Lana did. Uh, let's see. And man, this is insane. I mean, just the whole Holy thing. Both shit, of them shit, transition. Shit, shit. How does that work? I don't know. I mean, well, it sounds like the mother and the father are just already out there on their own. And so then you kind of mix all that together, throw in a bowl, and mix it up. I, I didn't. I didn't know that both of them had transitioned. <clears throat> that's uh, that's that's probably something that's not highly heard of. Is I don't it? know. I've never heard of two siblings. No, I haven't either. either. I. So I don't. I don't know what the deal is on that. But but I know they're very very talented. But um, wow, wow. So the co-director. Of the Matrix says the Matrix films are about being transgender. What? Do you get anything out of transgender out of those movies? Okay. The character Switch, who spoiler alert didn't make it past the first film. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I know shows Switch says shows where our head spaces were. N Lily says in a Netflix video, the Matrix stuff was all about the desire for transformation but it was all coming from a closeted point of view. We had the character Switch, who was a character who would be a man in the real world and then a woman in the Matrix. It's wow. How, says, Lily doesn't know how present my transness was in the background of my brain as we were writing the Matrix, but it all came from that sort of fire that I'm talking about. Um, wow. I never knew any of that. So that, that they're, based, they're stating that the whole Matrix is about being trans. It says, well, Lana was one of the first to transition. Uh, she said to the New Yorker in 2012 how much she was struggling with her gender identity around the time of the second and third Matrix films. For years, I, I, would, I couldn't even say the words transgendered or transsexual. And, um, wow, it's just... So is this fourth one? I'll just, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't even know if I want to go, not to be disrespectful again, anything, but I don't even know if I want to go watch it now. If that's where they're going to, where now I'm going to be thinking that the entire time. No, Every but, scene's no, going to be about that. No, but I think that. they, see, okay. Um, so she goes on to say, transgender people without support, means, and privilege do not have this luxury. Many don't survive. She's like, I'm one of the lucky ones. Support of my family and the means to afford doctors and therapists has given me a chance to survive this process. It says the Matrix trilogy, in particular the first film, um, it says Neo, played by Keanu Reeves, you know, wakes up to the reality that he's been living in a computer simulation his whole life. His physical body, along with the rest of the human race, is being used as an energy source, blah, 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 and all that other stuff. But they're talking about how they're, I think they're making an allegory about it. You know, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. It's, um, I don't think they're trying to say that it was all you're, about transgender. You're transforming from what you thought you knew into what you, right. your real identity is. I mean, that makes sense, yes. Okay, I mean, I, I understand that. Yeah. Just... So, yeah, but there was a deal. It was it was that dominatrix, I think, that had this influence, and that is not the only person she had dated or been with that ended up going yeah. trans. It's just awful strange. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't even know how we fucking got here. Other than the well, Matrix. just the Matrix. But hey, Bob, I got a question because I'm always testing. I'm trying to find out where your limits are sexually. Oh, God. <laughs> if a woman wanted to take you to a dominatrix bar and she wanted to tie you up and beat you with a whip and do and stick things in your ass, would you let her? After a few drinks, maybe. <laughs> okay. There is so, no stopping so, him. I mean, so, we're just not walking in there doing that shit cold. <laughs> so a person I was seeing. 
Yeah. You know, at one point, um, she she wanted me to spank her with this belt, but then she also, as we'd been out and stuff, so I'm standing in my underwear, bent over the bed, because she's like, lean over the bed. And, then, and so she gives me a couple of whacks with this belt, and I'm thinking, this ain't going to fly. No, this ain't me. <laughs> it didn't hurt, but I thought, no, I'm really not getting anything out of this. I right. really feel like a fucking idiot standing here in my fucking underwear while she <laughs> smacks me on the ass. I just right. felt weird and awkward. Yeah. On, you know, and and it felt like you should apologize for something I, you did I, I wrong. Just, I was just like... <laughs> There's nothing about this that is arousing to me, um, you know. And she want me her, you know, trying to teach me how to spank her properly. Just seemed like more of a chore than anything sexually, right? You know, I say what I ought to do is just really just swing this belt right across her ass, really fucking hard, then bang her, and then <laughs> there's your punishment. All right, guys, I'm gonna step away for a second. I got a jalapeno seed stuck in my throat. <laughs> Jesus. That's code for I uh-huh. need to go masturbate. Right. Because he's, he's like, what's your sexual limits, Bob? Right. And then, oh, I got a jalapeno seed. Right. I bet you do. <laughs> yeah, no, I fuck that. I, I, I'm just not really into spanking someone or being spanked. I mean, you know, if they, I guess they wanted me to, but. Yeah. I'd be more into spanking somebody than I would getting spanked. Absolutely. Because that's what they're into. I mean, okay. look, I, you know, there's definitely going to be some slaps on the ass anyway. Right. Nothing hard. It's just who doesn't like to slap a nice mm-hmm. ass? And you all right in there? You finished? Yeah, help yourself. A white claw gets the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. It's like Zima for millennials. <laughs> We're actually really good. You ever had one? Uh, yeah, I have had a white claw. Like I said, all those flavored seltzers, it's like somebody dunked a piece of fruit into like a pond. Mm-hmm. And then bottled it from the other opposite fucking bank. But I actually like these. I don't like any of the other ones I've ever drank but these. Did you like Zimas with maybe a Jolly Rancher in it? Well, everybody liked those at one point. No, they didn't. Oh, they, didn't. <laughs> no, they didn't. You never drank one. No, no I drink it. I've drank several. Drink Bob? It. I've drank several of them, and it's like, they suck. Yeah, and Bob's like, no aftershock. What about it those? Every uh, time. There's, there's like those, whatever, the different seltzers and shit out there. And some people, I've seen them. Or like the Bud Ice or... Whatever yeah. it was, and then they would take the uh, oh, whatever it is, I don't know, the little mio. Um, <laughs> no, not the mio. It's it's like at the bar they would put in, um, you know, the cherry grenadine. Yeah, grenadine. Yeah, they put grenadine in it. Lunchbox. And <laughs> it wasn't a lunchbox, but it was. <laughs> it wasn't a beer. It was one of those. Uh, it, I, I would say bud ice, but it was some kind of ice fucking seltzer yeah. thing. I don't know what it was, but it's like what a chick drink. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm not a post chick drink. me a chick, huh? No, I mean, saying? I'm drinking fucking pina colada. No, that's true. Yeah, you will drink one of those. Yeah. And dance in the rain. Fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Brian? I want to show you this real quick. Is it you uh, with a here you go, here guys, seat? here and again on this one. <clears throat> Meta launched an investigation after a woman said she was groped by a stranger in the metaverse. Fuck are they talking what? about? What? Yes, a girl was in the metaverse and somebody came Wait, up and groped her in the game and people watched and now they're doing an investigation. What, about it, what it is the metaverse? Is yeah. it a new game? No, it's the it's the it's the whole uh, it's it's just like a what a what's numb nuts is doing on Facebook. The meta thing, metaverse. Where you go in and you're a character, you get to create yourself. It's a new world. So it's like a sim <clears throat> a, li- a sim, you know. Yeah. Kind of like a what a Warcraft? No, it's, no. Remember, we was talking about uh, what's his name who changed the name to Meta. Well, he's creating a, he's going along with a metaverse, which they are creating an alternate world for everybody, so you can go in and be the person you want to be. So, yeah, the, so a virtual like world, a virtual world. So you yes. just walk around. So somebody grouped, groped her virtual, her virtual fucking uh, character. Character. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, Did they not upset. think that the meta world was not going to immediately devolve into nothing but gang rape? <laughs> <Get> the <laughs> fuck out of here! It's like that. Uh, that show. Westworld. Yeah. Have you see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can be, you know, you can be anyone you want to be, and these are just androids, and they're just out there murdering them and boning yeah, and, them. And, uh, yeah. And look, if I was on Westworld, I'd be out there fucking android buffaloes, you name it. <laughs> just whatever. I'd shoot one and then fuck the hole. Oh, yeah. Be yeah like, but I so, cannot believe that I, she's I'm the complaining preacher of this town. That. Boom! Immediately yeah, shoot him. Yeah. You know, I'd be a mass murderer probably in right. West World or something. But yeah, they had to know in this metaverse where we're all just we can be who we want online. What if the person you, and and everyone gets the freedom to be who they want? Don't <coughs> infringe on my rights to be free. Okay, 
if everyone gets that right, what if I want to be a goddamn serial killer? Yeah. Well, then you're infringing on my right to live. The good news, you can reset your character. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, they said sexual harassment is no joke on the regular internet. But being in a VR adds another layer that makes it even more intense, the woman wrote. So what game are they actually playing? It's, it's just an, alter, it's an alternate world just where it's you can go in. There's not, there's not a goal. You're just out there fucking yeah, but around. What, what's the name of it? The uh, Metaverse. Metaverse. Okay, so how Bob's do you get getting on it right now? I'm gonna squeeze what the some hell's titties. Going on squeeze some meta titties. <laughs> you know what? I, meta I, fun bags. Yeah, I guess I'm insensitive because yes, sexual harassment is a horrible thing. So is bullying online. But you know what? Unfucking plug. Excuse me, bitch. Right? Yeah. Unplug. Yeah. Oh my god, someone's groping my virtual titties. <laughs> Pull off the fucking VR goggles and unplug. Yeah, no shit. Either that or do some quick keyboard work and turn them into <laughs> spikes. <laughs> or maybe rip the rip the offending meta character's dick off. Now, okay, now, would you think this is one of those moments you're, that somebody would say, now I've heard it all? Yeah, this is a, yet another one of these we are doomed as a society I moments. know, dude. I'm like, oh, I read that I read that right before the end of today, before it's I like, came over here. I was like, oh, they've got to see this. Somebody wrote a song that offended me. Yeah. Don't listen. Yeah. yeah no shit. I need a safe space. God damn, I'm well, sick of it. You know, well, that's like how, how do we survive as fucking kids. You know, like, well, where was he any place? <laughs> you know what? It seemed all right. I drank out of a garden hose and didn't die. Yeah, no shit. You know, kids said mean things. There's bullies. You know, they got their asses whooped. I got my ass whooped. Everyone, you, know, you live. That's what you fucking do. Did y'all hear Brian Williams? From MSNBC. Yes. Did you hear his farewell? Yes. Uh-uh. Oh, Brian. Man, he said some shit. Really? He, he, he spoke his... You got you to gotta hear it. Can we play it? I guess we can. We play uh, the yes, other, YouTube we? will, you know, pitch a... <clears throat> I'll try to keep this brief. After 28 years of Peacock logos on much of what I own, it is my choice now to jump without a net into the great unknown, as I do for the first time in my 62 years. My biggest worry is for my country. The truth is I'm not a liberal or a conservative. I'm an institutionalist. I believe in this place, and in my love of country, I yield to no one. But the darkness on the edge of town has spread to the main roads and highways and neighborhoods. It's now at the local bar and the bowling alley, at the school board and the grocery store. And it must be acknowledged and answered for. Grown men and women who swore an oath to our Constitution, elected by their constituents, possessing the kinds of college degrees I could only dream of, have decided to join the mob and become something they are not, while hoping we somehow forget who they were. They've decided to burn it all down with us inside. That should scare you to no end as much as it scares an aging volunteer fireman. To my co-workers, my love and thanks, and I say again, everyone I've worked with has made me better at what I do. To my family, love and thanks doesn't begin to cover it, but now I have the time to better express it. My friends know who they are. No one's been blessed with better friends. To the guests on this broadcast, as you heard the nice man say a few minutes ago, it's always been about you. Otherwise, I'd be staring into the camera for an hour, five nights a week, and nobody wants to see that. You are the 11th hour and will continue to be the 11th hour. This is where I thank you, however, for being so great for explaining these last five years. As a proud New Jersey native, this is where I get to say regrets. I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. What a ride it's been. Where else? How basically. else? That's basically, yeah, you just... Go back. It's been about you. Otherwise, go back to that point. I say again, everyone I've worked with Here we go. become something they are not, while hoping we somehow forget Talking who about they our politicians. Were. They've decided to burn it all down with us inside. That should scare you to no end. That is strong wording. That's the point. <clears throat> yeah. Talk about a scathing indictment of the state of our political uh, landscape know. and also <laughs> the fear for our nation. Yeah. It is burning the fuck down around us. 
Well, the weird part is a lot of people are just allowing it to The happen. Roman Empire that lasted longer than our great experiment of democracy and, free, you know, the free market system and United States and our Constitution and our liberty, the, the, the Roman Empire lasted longer than we've been, you know, around. However, what killed the Roman Empire was it fell from within. And it didn't help that there were outside sources pecking away. The Mongols, the Goths, the Visigoths, the Vandals. Um, you know, it makes it even more scary. I was reading the other day where Putin and uh, China have bonded even tighter now. I'll tell you what. It is very common after I have had Chinese food for me to do some Putin. <laughs> but I don't think that's what you meant by any of that. I don't think I did. God dang it, where is that sounds? <laughs> You've been gone too long, bro. Yeah! Found it again. <laughs> there it was. Yeah, so, I'll tell you. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Was it you the other day, or was it someone else that told me? I mean, I could be totally wrong because I'm not taking this for fact. It's just what someone said. They said that you know the ends of they somewhere in the Bible it has states that you will know the end of times when basically a, something about genders when gen, when people don't know who they are anymore. Oh, that's no, a bunch of horse shit. No. Is that the horse shit? Okay, yeah, I didn't no, know. That's what no. someone said. No, and no, but you know, there's some things that disturb me. One of them is another. You know, just the state of things and how society is changing to the point. I, I, not all of it is for the better. It may be unpopular to say that, but not all of it. This safe space culture we live in, fuck that. Yeah, you know, um, open mindedness is great. Just open, don't open your mind so fucking wide that your brain falls out. Yeah. And and it's come down to, I am worried about society. And that sounds like such an old person thing to say. It's different than when I was young. You know what? Fuck it. It was different. And in my humble opinion, in many ways better. So, so change for the sake of change usually is worthless. Change for the better for a specific reason is good. Yeah. But not everything that is changing is good. No, no, not at all. And this whole metaverse thing, someone groped me in the metaverse. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> all it does is piss me the fuck <laughs> off. Wait till they see what I do in the metaverse. <laughs> I can't imagine um, you and Bob both in the metaverse. I'll just I'm going to Winnie the Poet. Uh, 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 no uh, pants uh, will ever be worn. Hell the, yeah. Just the sheer amount of public <clears throat> masturbation I will do in the metaverse is going to be shocking. Mm-hmm. They're like, there's kids in there. Watch your goddamn kids. <laughs> you, you want another life? <laughs> well, no, actually, I don't have any kids in this alter world. That, that, that's what they would end up doing. They'd be where they wouldn't have kids. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Let me tell you, so we would draw from society so we can all walk around a virtual world and not connect with each other. I know, dude. And it's stupid. Like and I'll tell you something else that's starting to piss me off is crypto. People are getting filthy rich. I know. And <laughs> they set up these mining operations that... Use tons of energy. Yep. So let me tell you, though, what good is crypto? They say, well, it's an alternate form of currency, man. Really? Then why am I paying f- to buy it in dollars? We're exchanging. It's still tied to our currency. Don't, there's no way, there's no two ways about it. Hey, how much is, uh, you know, how much is, how much is one Bitcoin worth right now? Uh, forty-four thousand dollars. Oh wait, forty-four thousand U.S. dollars. Damn, it's down. It was up to sixty-two. I haven't looked at it lately. Yeah. But. So, so it's worth U.S. dollars. You're saying? Well, no, it, it can be worth U.S. dollars. Sure. But everybody, it, we we equate Bitcoin to a U.S. dollar valuation. If you were in China, you know, you'd be converting sure, it to the just, yen. Just, they, but it, it's still tied to all the currency. It's not a fo- a new currency, and you know, it's just yet another form. It's the same thing as if some country came in and started minting their own coin or whatever. But the problem is, is that it makes it too easy for people to run with the money. Have you seen about these people that are, this has been going on for a while. They end up stealing, you know. The exit scams? Yes. The phone numbers, everything else. And then what do they do? They drain bank accounts and convert it to Bitcoin and hide it. Even if they get caught, what do they get? Five years, ten years, and they come out with a couple of million in Bitcoin? They're stealing fortunes from people. Where they're stealing people's life savings. Oh, yeah. I thought a good movie premise would be somebody that was a low-level criminal but was smart enough back in the day to buy a thousand bucks worth of Bitcoin, end up getting sent to prison for five or six years, and comes out and they're a multimillionaire. Sure. They're just balling. Yeah, that would be good. You know, there was a good show on uh, Vice about about this deal and this one kid that's about to go to prison. 
for 10 years, and they suspect there's still several million in Bitcoin he's got hidden, and he won't uh, divulge it. I wouldn't. But I'll tell you what, when the inmate, inmates find out how much he's worth, they'll be like, you know what? You owe me fucking million dollars. You can't walk down this goddamn hallway yeah. unless you want to be beat fucking to death. So, yeah. so let me tell you, the problem is, though, is that crypto is still tied to. It is not, it, it's not how they're portraying it as its own separate currency. It's like, okay, this is worth... Well, every currency is tied to some other currency sure because it is. there's a conversion value. Sure it is. So, so how is it any better than regular currency with the exception of the fact that it's so anonymous, which lends itself to nefarious the purposes? The banks don't have any control over it is why they yeah, like the, it. It's, the, it's, all, it's all banked by us. Well, see, sure. <clears throat> you say the banks don't have any control over it. Okay, yeah, it's, it's not as anonymous as you would think. Uh, it's anonymous to a point. Wallets yeah. have to be tied to people. Sure, but, but who's tracking that fucking wallet? That wallet? It's, it's all in a big blockchain. Everybody goes yeah. to a blockchain. They're on that blockchain, and we all basically control the blockchain. So there's there's no way of stealing money from you, as in, like, you know, t- taking a file and editing it and saying you got more money, all the blockchains correct it. Right. What but, I'm saying <laughs> is, is then why are they using it to buy child porn, drugs, weapons, things like that? Because it, it's just another currency. It's the same thing. It's just a different currency. It's not as trackable. As the yeah. U.S. dollar. Yeah, exactly. So, so then again, it comes down to what's the appeal of Bitcoin over, let's say one Bitcoin's worth 62000 a day. Which would you rather have, a Bitcoin or $62,000? A Bitcoin. Because it's going to grow, right? What if you said this is all this Bitcoin will ever be worth is 62000 Why would you rather have a Bitcoin? Cash. Or cash. cash. Now, if this that's all ever going to be worth, it's over. Yeah, I want my cash. But you know what? If I was going to buy, let's say, a rocket-propelled grenade on the dark web, I'd sure rather have the Bitcoin. No. You cannot well, convince me that Bitcoin, the appeal, isn't because it is not as traceable as the U.S. dollar. The government hates any kind of revenue that they don't have a finger in or not oh, tracing. That's kind of the whole and point. And I get it. But this fucking whole crypto thing, it's still, at the end of the day, it'll still come back to dollars for someone. That's how we used to live for our regular <clears throat> fucking thing. And, and watch crypto start fucking getting a lot of pressure from world governments because they can't control it. Yeah. And the problem is, is that right now people are using it for nefarious bullshit. Well, there's a lot of countries too that are taking it on, and, to, and like, uh, do you know Bob which one it is? They actually went and they changed all their currency over to Bitcoin. You know what? Because they <clears throat> want to track this shit. Well, the government did it. They, they wanted it to happen, That's what I'm and saying, they gave yeah. everybody some money. So, Sorry. all we're doing is creating. It's all social contract anyway. All this form of money. Well, I tell you, it's really with what happened to me recently. You know, I'm into that safe moon, right? Well, I'm still holding. I had 39 million tokens. All it takes is one cent, you know, and I'm I'm rich or one dollar. <laughs> well, they upgraded the token to version two, which is more secure and something else, and blah blah blah. By the time I converted it all, now I have 39 thousand tokens. Yeah, I was like, great. Now, <laughs> okay, so but did they revalue it? It's 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 the same value regardless. Uh, I still have, it didn't, your money your value of the money didn't change. Okay, I just have smaller coins, but under a different version. But the reason they did it is because they had so many leading zeros, they had to get rid of some of them. So they upgraded the version two, and it had to change. Yeah, so everybody got multiplied by a thousand. Or, yes, okay. exactly. Or diluted by a thousand. However yeah. you, you, you want to yep. look at it. So, so let's say that somebody, for example, we were talking about. Mining, data mining. Yeah. Now, these resellers of this equipment, because there's a big backlog on orders on equipment because of chipsets they're having problems getting. Yes. So, we won't go into that because we ain't trying to lose, you know, we ain't trying to let nobody in on our secret. But <laughs> it comes down to that these resellers say, yeah, I got them in stock right now. Almost all of those are a scam. Go to the Reddit community and read about it. Because what they want you to do is they say, hey, yeah, we only accept Bitcoin. So, you know, you can buy Bitcoin and then pay, you know, our, our $600 price for this equipment and we'll get it to you. No, what happens is you transfer that $600 Bitcoin and it or $600 worth of Bitcoin to them. It evaporates and is gone. They've scammed you. They'll never catch you. So the only one is that main one I mean you talked about? You know what? Did if, you tell Bob about any of the shit? No, if oh, it, okay. but if it's not through Helium, <clears throat> they're not an authorized, don't do it. If they if they want if they were legit they wouldn't need you to pay them in Bitcoin. Yeah, 
That's okay. True. Yeah. So let me tell you, it makes it easier to scam. And it's gone. You'll never see it again. You'll never be able to track them. Nothing. Yeah. Fuck that. Right. All you'll have is the wallet address you sent to, and you'll have to take that to the FBI and go. Yeah. Here, you've got a billion problems going on. Can you look at mine? Yeah. 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 And, you know, of this, <clears throat> of this, this wallet holder that is in another country that could give a fuck about the FBI. Right. Yeah, exactly. So don't shit yourself, man. This crypto is used for a lot of things that shouldn't be used for. You say, well, dollars are too. Yeah, but the thing is, large amounts of cash garners the interest of the government. You're not going to move large amounts of cash without the government knowing it. You know, look at the, look, look at the drug dealers that's money laundering. You know, Escobar spent, I forget how much per month, in rub, like 5000 a month in rubber bands alone at the yeah. height of his deal. Rats ate more of his money than you can possibly imagine because it was stored. He had to store it, spray it for bugs, everything else. Money laundering, large amounts of cash, it's hard to fucking move. And it's hard to move in and out of the country, too. You know, right now it's illegal to export or take with, uh, over a certain amount of coins with you out of the United States. You know why? Because the metal in the coin is worth more than the face value of the coin. <clears throat> and people are taking it out of the country and melting it down and making wow. money. Let because me tell you. In other countries, it's not illegal to destroy coins. You bet. And and the government hates cash, first of all. They don't like cash. So they do things to make it to where you don't deal in large amounts of cash. Yep. They want to know everything that's going on. They want rightfully so, you know, they, they want to know where's that money we you know passing around and keep moving in society. We'd like to keep keep a you know piece of piece of the pie. Bitcoin, okay, yep, there's a wallet. Good luck. Let me tell you what, just because it's on an online fucking wallet, and which is also funny, a wallet that if you forget the password, you're fucked. Yeah, it's usually a phrase. It's a phrase you don't even make up. It's, it's a phrase. That yeah, and there's a you. guy that's, that's <clears throat> you only get so many tries before you're locked out permanently, and he had forgotten that he had this, you know, kind of forgot about it until he, now he's filthy rich if he could only access his fucking Bitcoin. Right. Oh, that's awful. And, he's, and he's down to like one last try. <laughs> holy shit that would be awful so you know what fuck all that yeah i'm telling you i've invested in that one i've let it sit because it's got a possible there's there's some good works behind of things they're wanting to do for other countries and uh i'm just kind of letting that sit and just having some faith in and letting it roll your main purpose is hoping to make some money off of well, it. Well, of course. There's nothing wrong with that. No, no. But, yeah, that's like saying, you know, they, they helped mm -hmm. dig a well in Zimbabwe one time, you know. And that's why I've done Fuck that. I'd do it for the money. Well, you but can what do it I for do both. It for you can do it for I've both. got dollar signs in my eyes, not yeah. doge coins in my fucking eyes. Yeah, no shit. Crypto pisses me off. <laughs> so does the new online community, the whole virtual world that we've become. Here, and here we are. We sit here with computers in front of us, but it's pissed off. Yeah. It's pissed me off so bad in this fucking, and that really set me off tonight. Yeah. This bitch getting groped and meta. I, I knew that would make you mad. Here. I knew it would. You just wait till I get on meta. <clears throat> let me tell you, you think you were, you, you think you were disturbed before lady. Yeah. Well, let me. Bob wants to get to flashlights. Back to flashlights here in a second, but I do, <laughs> I do want to mention I, something. That that is pretty much Bob's everyday stance. <laughs> I'd like to get back to flashlights if I could. You know what? I'd like to get into a flashlight myself. <laughs> I do want to mention something. It's kind of a little uh, a tech thing that I found out in the last uh, few hours. I was talking to Bob yesterday. Um, I have like you know the Alexa. I've got, you know, the smart light bulbs. and I love that kind of shit in my house. I just like all this electronic shit. Sure. I don't have to mess with just turning it on and off. So anyways, well, I realized that Apple has the home one, but you have to buy their shit, and yeah. it's really expensive. But you can make your Apple TV the hub that everything connects to, which is the main controller, or oh, but also you need a bridge. Yeah. So if you get a bridge, anything you buy like uh, that would work with Alexa or work with Google, this bridge will make it all work with the Apple. And I was like, God, how do you do that? You go get a, a Raspberry Pi, a, a Pi, number four, and then you go get uh, this software called HomeBridge, and they tell you how to put it on there. You plug it in the network, boom, everything starts working on your Apple stuff. Okay, so like, how much does a Raspberry awesome. Pi cost you? $35. Yeah, the cheapest Okay, why not just buy your Apple Home Kit for forty four bucks? You don't have to customize anything. You plug it in. There is no Apple Home Kit. <laughs> Apple Home Kit Bridge. 
Oh, because that that only that, that doesn't allow all the other other products. That's just Apple. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, this one allows Google, Alexa. So, like, if you want to use your Nest thermostat, yes, it'll all work with all it. That. Yes, and it'll all work from your phone. Yes. Yeah. So, what we're trying to find is a, make a universal hub that is yes. plug and play for every device. Yes, every device. Instead out of everyone's there, yeah. proprietary horseshit. Well, the main thing with Apple is, and that's why I'm a big fan of Apple anymore, is the privacy. They're really big about not wanting to put the shit on the cloud anymore. That's where they're going to win in the future, dude, is the fact of privacy. Google and everybody wants to know when you take a shit. Apple's like, we don't and give a fuck. And guess what? Google has the blessing of the United States government to do so because yes. Google amasses more information, more mapping technology, everything else, more m- the ability to gather information and mine data for on be- more capacity than the United States government does. If you think for a second that there is not a partnership there, you're wrong. Oh, there is. Google is not going to only prosper. They're, going, they're here to stay. Did you hear about TikTok today? Mm, no. no. A bunch of kids didn't go to school today all over the United States because TikTok was warning everybody that there were shooters coming to their school. God, it is the they age they we traced live in. it down and found out it was a bunch of bullshit from the last thing I yeah, read. This is, where, this is the age we live in. Yes, exactly. We rely on TikTok to tell us. I got to tell you, there was a goddamn payphone in the school. In the hallway, and you couldn't was. use it. You could, you could only use it in between classes right. or at lunch. Do you remember a lot of shootings in schools when we were in school? No, no, I don't. I don't, I don't remember that happening. No, it's because anytime something like that happened, it didn't make national news. It was kept at the local level. Yeah, well, that's yeah, and true. and I think Need yeah, and plus I think that there was, you know, there was always bullying. There's bullying yeah. was worse, but the thing is, is some of these kids didn't twist off. They were it was different. People people are just a different generation. I'm not saying it wasn't horrible, um, but I'm saying they endured and moved on instead of you know. Yeah, it is what it instead is. Instead of so wearing it, a goddamn on. overcoat, dyeing their hair black, and fucking listen, you know, maybe watching they, the Matrix. Well, they they probably did that and listened to the Cure a lot, but you know what? They they fucking moved on. Why has it got to be the Cure? I like the Cure. Personally. I like the Cure too. <laughs> I love the Cure too, but a lot of people that do listen to the Cure, they're right. like, oh, jeez, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Galore was one of my, one of my favorite albums. You know, I mean, mine's mixed saying, up. It's just it just goes along with that fucking look. I know it, it does. But you know what? They're, they're different. Even, no one understands me. We when we went through, there wasn't even the gothy kids. They didn't have a label for it. The goth kid, you know, they were hoods. Well, yeah, but they weren't all fucking wearing black eyeliner Relished. either. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, they were just smoking a bunch of fucking weed yeah. and you know shit weed. And so, <laughs> yeah, bad. Got a, a lot of, of stems in this of one. Ditch weed and shit. And, <laughs> and uh, so, I, I'm just. I don't know. It's changed a lot in this whole virtual world we live in, yeah. and it affects us. And, and I say that while I carry around a phone that has more power, computing power in it than than the mainframes that NASA sent you, a man uh, to the moon. And as Bob would say, you can watch HD porn on it, too. I can do all kinds of stuff with it. And what do I do? Watch bullshit TikTok videos or right. play a game or <laughs> fuck it. Yeah. You, you know, well, I remember the boy coming to me when he was about 18 years old. He's like, I'm bored. I was like, dude, you got a device in your pocket that will stream HD porn straight to your yeah. hand. Shit we how, only dreamed of. How could yeah. you be possibly be bored? Did exactly. you find the end of the internet? <laughs> I mean, but that just goes, you know, we, even the Bible says something about that. The eye never gets tired of seeing. And, you know, they you, you want more and more and more and more. Yeah. Always more. But literally, that fucking smartphone over there. It contains everything, the ability to do everything we could have dreamed of yeah. when, when Bob and I were growing up. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Hey, man, you want to see some dirty pictures? Yeah, where are they at? Right fucking here, and there's an endless supply. <laughs> You'd have been like, well, I'll, I'll sit- never leave my goddamn room again. I'll, sit- I'll see you in a week. Yeah. And then, you know, but not only that, I weighed like 20 pounds less and be dehydrated. Yeah. But, you know, not only t- that, what about doing a research paper? We had to go to the goddamn library. Oh, yeah. Several libraries to Schedule get what time. you need. May, may have to check out a book. May have had to put a reservation on a book to wait until somebody else got done yeah. with it before we could put it. And, and, of course, now you get a bunch of news that is not valid. You know, it's like Wikipedia, you know, celebrates 400 years of American independence or some stupid shit. You know, it's all fucking wrong. But there are sources out there that are reliable if you know how to do proper research and kids aren't learning that. So that's why they just believe anything. Yes. Oh, my God, there's a TikTok video. Schools are going to be shut, shut, you know, shot up. It must be gospel. 
No, you little dumb fuck, it's not. Yeah. Teach these goddamn kids something, please. You know, one thing I will say about me that I, I think I've realized when it comes to technology, I realize I'm more about it bettering my life. Things that I do, like knowing that I didn't leave my Porsche light on for 24 hours. I saved money because now it's going to switch off on its own. That kind of bullshit. Okay. But people rely on it more for their entertainment. Well, I now have an it electric is. mattress pad. Yeah. It's heated and it feels nice. And I put a smart plug on the damn thing. So you I turn can, it on whenever he if wants. I, I, I can set it so I, if I know I'm going to be home in 20 minutes and ready to go to bed, I can just set a timer. Okay. It's even got weather alerts so that if the temperature drops below a certain degree, it'll automatically turn on for me. So think about it. 1980, you could get a timer that would turn things on and off, but yeah. it didn't have that functionality that you could decide, I want to, I want to turn it on right now. Right. It had to have a schedule. It, you didn't have a way to access that says, okay, the weather. It's definitely improved our lives. Oh, yeah. A, electric heated mattress pad. Okay, we had electric blankets. Yep. Did people burn the fuck up in them and die? Probably back in the day. Maybe. But still, I'm saying, yeah, I don't consider that such too far of a leap. It, it really is nice to have that. But it's tied to something real world. It's tied to him turning on his goddamn electric, you know, heated mattress pad. Yeah. Something real. Um, same thing with, you know, managing your lights or your, you know, whatever your utilities and things like that. My bearded dragon. His lights comes on for daytime, goes off at nighttime. <laughs> My, all my porch lights. Is that a nickname you have for something? <laughs> no. no his, our, our bearded dragon's name is Mango. No. <laughs> lights go on, lights go off. If a chick said that to me, I would be so fucking hard. I would, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got I, it set to, you know, let me know when I need to shave my bearded dragon. <laughs> You're like, God <laughs> damn, that's hot. <laughs> yeah, I'd want to watch. Yeah. But I, I do. I, I realize, I've realized that I have went more for technology due to the fact of how it helps out my life. Well, we all have. Yeah, but not we a lot of people have it. Pretty soon we'll just be these big blobs laying on a couch, shoveling Cheetos into our face, let technology take care of everything. What movie was that they showed everybody in the wheelchairs? Was it uh, Wally? Fuck, I don't know. Was it Wally? The kids show Wally? I, I don't remember. Are you going to that sleep one? over Bob there? Bob is drifting off. I know. Shit. Okay. What are you doing? You know what? You still can't beat the clapper, though, for the ultimate inconvenience for turning on your heated mattress pad. <laughs> so, all right, Bob, Bob, real quick. The flashlight. Yeah, what's let's, the, talk, let's talk about it. You, it looks like you're getting tired. Or did you have a long day? No, it was that meal. Oh, it's major. T- uh, Jason, you done that a couple episodes back, didn't you? Oh you yeah, it just knocked off. me out. That's why I was careful this time. Plus, I made Bobby my sopapilla, and that's not a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> Eat my sopapilla, Bob. You need a twisty. Well, I'll have to. No, that'd really make him go to sleep. No, that's, that's true. You'd be out. Fuck that. <laughs> What he needs is you want to pretend like you're going to give him a twist and then grab his balls and go, wake the fuck up. Um. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, so we probably need to take him. When are we going to break? We're not going to break. Well, fuck you. We're finishing this mm-hmm. up. How far along are we into the show? Uh, I ran 40, for, 47 minutes. I've been, on, I've been on the angry guy rant for a bit. You I'm have. Sad. It's been good. It's been, it's I've, been, I've been good. I've been the old angry man. Hey, you know what? We're all getting there. Okay, I'm starting- so. So the last time we were here, we were talking about the flashlights. You yes. could get them customized, any girl you wanted, blah, blah, blah. What I didn't realize till after you guys left, and I don't even know how I found this. <laughs> They've got a gay section. Oh, yeah. Come on. Really? You can get your customized butthole. Uh, yeah. Now, do the butthole look like those ladies' vaginas? I wasn't paying that much attention to it, but... It looked pretty realistic. I got to tell you, none of those th- those cutaway views of those vaginas those aren't really look look more like a pig uterus than like it a did key a human. Socket. Like you got a special, <laughs> well, it's like you, you know, like a pig's uterus, you know, and it has you know a pig, uh, you know, or like a duck's uterus that has these dead ends to it and shit to trick other ducks from in, you know keep them from impregnating them if they don't want to be. And yeah, it's crazy. It's amazing, the but, shit but you this know. but this cutaway of this of this flashlight it. Come on, man. It, it, if they want to make it realistic, why don't they just send the motherfucker empty? <laughs> <laughs> it's Brittany, babe. 
bitch. <laughs> it's just a just a big empty flashlight. It's just greased inside a little. Fuck it right in the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we ought to get a flashlight and put it on a fucking smart switch or something. <laughs> Maybe we need to put it on Joel Olster. <laughs> that fucking sack of Dude, shit. Dude, that video you sent the other day was it, hilarious. Well, he, he calls him a piece of you shit. You know you're a piece of shit, you're right? A piece of shit. <laughs> and you know what? I hope that motherfucker knows he's a piece of shit. He is a piece of shit. Fuck him. And, uh, Joel Steen. <laughs> I could, you know what? Maybe we could get a camera. It's Brittany, bitch. <laughs> to put inside we're trying the to flashlight wake Bob for Bob. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking tonight about trying to get, you know, it's like, you know what would be a great idea if you're married and your spouse should get along well with them. But you want yeah, yeah, Jason, share this business plan with us. Okay. You want to start up an OnlyFans for your wife. And if your wife is a modest and decent person, she's not one going to show those goods or she's going to be afraid that family or friends will see that and go, oh, my God, whore. <laughs> so what you got to do is you got to set up the foot fetish only fans. And that means do something nice for your feet. Maybe a nice pedicure. Maybe just there's, you know, a video. Run of, that cheese grater across those. Right. Here, maybe you're in the tub. You know, a bunch of suds and bubbles and stuff, and your feet are up there all cute by the faucet. Maybe you smoke a you know cigarette, you know, just but hold it between your toes. Either way, they ain't never got to see your face. That'll sell. There's a market for it. Maybe you could buy some sexy socks or hose or some shit and sell those too. And then maybe you could also have your husband just lay back where you can't see his face or anything and give him a foot job for your OnlyFans account. I'm telling you, there's money to be made where you can still be modest. But also, it will fulfill some fucking weirdo's fetish. <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> and then maybe as you get more comfortable and realize, wow, all these guys are willing to pay money to see this part of me. That makes me feel so good. Then maybe you can have the camera slide up and maybe you throw a pussy shot out there every now and then. <laughs> and they're still not seeing your face. You know, unless, huge bitch. Unless, unless your snatch looks like Mick Jagger when he's, you know, or Billy Idol when he's, you know, singing. You know. <laughs> Kind of Billy Idol snatch. If it looks like if it looks like your snatch is singing Rebel Yell, then leave it out of it. Oh my God! You know, and uh, so, but yeah, the foot fetish only fans. We also we're talking about million dollar idea right there. I'm telling you, well, maybe not a million dollars, but who couldn't use? What if you what if you only brought in five hundred a month? That's five hundred in your pocket, and all your wife had to do was show her feet. Yeah. So, now I might have to go to talk, go home, talk to the wife about this. Now I've got another one. Uh, there any, oh come shit! On, girl. Sorry. Is is there any market for dude feet? Well, probably, but I don't know. I don't know. Who would watch dude feet? I don't know. I some, guess dude. Some sick fuck. Because you know, so you know, you know, chicks gotta do it. You never know. People are weird. Yeah, what true. about this one? We talked about the used panties thing. <laughs> what I need is a girl, a beautiful woman, to say, hey. Help me get a site set up and be like, I'm selling my panties. She will purchase new panties, and that's where it ends. Because they are her panties. They are her panties. So it's not it's not false advertising, but the three of us are going to take turns wearing those fucking <laughs> panties. In and the we're, summer. And we're going to sell them to motherfuckers. And just because the satisfaction of knowing some dumb son of a bitch is sweating. We've got to find a way to gonna, at least know the first pair that we've got a camera there so we can see. Well, also, they're going to they're gonna know something's up when they find them all stretched out from our fat asses. <laughs> but still, maybe I can just floss with them. We're, you know, We're going <laughs> to put a new meaning to hot August night. Right? It'd be like, damn, that stinks so good. And then and if they only knew. But you know what? Fuck it. Why not? Let's let's you know. we we can replace their to- the tuna can in the repertoire. You bet you you gotta figure we can we can mass produce these used panties instead of just waiting for one girl to wear one pair of panties. You know, I'm just going to f- give them a good floss, and after I've mowed the lawn, you know, and just <laughs> boom, and, you know, three, four pairs, churning them out. And if we're all doing that, it, it takes more than that to dry my forehead off. And, and then I'll tell you what, and then we market it in Japan. They love used panties. And that and that is strange. Now, have we is, is any have we actually looked that up? Is that true? You can yes. buy them from a fucking vending machine oh, over there. It is, it is true. There's yeah, some respectable Japanese businessmen. Hey, I hey, buy your panty for sniffing. The fuck out of here. Very stressful day. Takahashi. You're the CEO of a multi-billion dollar company and you're in here huffing fucking snatch sweat. Yeah, why wouldn't you just get a hooker? 
I don't know. Maybe he don't want to. You know, you don't want that nasty bitch. He just, <laughs> just wants to smell her panties. Now, I don't know, man. I never understood the panty sniffing thing. I never have either. And uh, <laughs> I was dating. <laughs> I say dating. That's a harsh word. <laughs> I was seeing this girl. <laughs> And um, you were having relations. Yeah. And so she's and she always had these cute little frilly panties. And, uh, and she was she was batshit insane. Uh, anyway, she's doing laundry and listening to music. I'm laying on the bed filming her because she's standing there, you know, just in, in a pair of panties, you know, folding her laundry. <laughs> and she's doing these underwear. And I said, hey, save me a pair of those for sniffing. <laughs> you know, being smart ass. She's like, and, you know, she just watched them. She's like, you can have these. I had massive shits the other day. <laughs> oh. I was like, oh. you, you know what? That's not sexy at all. <laughs> <laughs> that just killed the moment. <laughs> but she was just so deadpan about it you know so she kind of had a good sense of humor but yeah that, yeah, but yeah there's fetishes fetish. for that so i'm telling you there's a way to make fine have financial freedom as a couple without going overboard where your kids friends go oh i saw your mom yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> stuffing a fucking eight inch realistic dong up her fucking coos <laughs> no all they saw was we don't know who she is she could have any name there's a way to do it and people pay for it why aren't you on the road to financial freedom right now brian I don't know because uh, no. Why? There's no. I don't. I don't really have an answer for that. She don't have to show any nudity. Neither do you. Now, now, if you could make that kind of money showing, let's say, like your your armpits, would you do it? Fuck yeah. yes! I would let Bob fuck my armpit if I could make that kind of money. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm gonna open an account now because we're gonna see and, this, and I want the video to show you know. From the you know yeah. the other side, you know? You know, I just keep poking out of my armpit, you know, some hair and stuff. And if if you get it right, you remember how you're a kid and you take your you know hand yeah. in your armpit and go. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it does that while he's banging it. Make for a great video, and you know what? I'll sell the fuck out of that video. <laughs> you know, look. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm telling you that. Why are these ladies not taking more advantage of this? Even without the sex, you don't have to do something. You don't have to show nudity. For that matter, you can just jump around a pair of booty shorts and a half shirt and probably make money too. Oh, I'm sure they already do that. You know, I'm telling you. Yeah, I've never been on Only OnlyFans. Have you? I've you know I've clicked a link you know for their you know the all my links you know off of a uh, TikTok page and then it usually lists you know their Instagram or Twitter and then OF. And you click OF and it takes you to their OnlyFans page, but you don't see anything unless you subscribe. And in order to su- subscribe, you got to have an account and you have to pay. And if they have a free OnlyFans account, you still have to have an account on OnlyFans, you know, in yeah, other words, yeah. a sign in. But if it's a free subscription, so what's your it's login? got a paywall. I don't have one. Bob, but what's it, your login? I don't have one. But either. let me tell you what they will have usually on Twitter. They'll have a link to their OnlyFans and usually some fucking teaser pics. Uh, and then it's like, holy shit. These nice, respectable looking, fr- you know, friendly girls. Holy the- yeah. shit, shit, shit. Exactly. So, so yeah, there's, it, but read about it. People are making a lot of money on that shit. That's crazy. I just, I but I mean, I mean, I understand. I mean, if you, if you feel okay doing that, you know, who's then making, more power to you. You know who's making a lot of money? OnlyFans. OnlyFans. They about screwed up their business model a couple of months ago. I know. They yeah, were I remember talking about the filthy that. filthy shit. They, they yeah. decided that they were going to get rid of any type of what nudity. What else did they plan and, on having on there? And, and all of a sudden, they were figured out they were going to lose 94% of their business. You know, there's several of those services like that, not just OnlyFans, but there's like several others, too. Really? Yeah. I, I just Onlyjason.com? <laughs> right. I'm too cheap to pay, though, is the problem. I am too. Not with the rich mosaic of porn. No, the free porn. But it's. I think it's tied to that desire for that particular model or person. You're like, oh, my God, I really want to see her. Do, you know? Yeah. It, you have to really, really be into that chick. I guess it's just dudes out there that just don't have anything else going on. More money than they got sense. I guess but, so. But guys do OnlyFans, too. I have a friend that says she's got a friend that has has an OnlyFans account, like sign in, mm-hmm. and has actually subscribed to some male OnlyFans, you know, people, you know, paid to see. What are the their guys schlong? Doing? Just to, they're showing their dick. Probably rubbing that healthy hog. I don't know. <laughs> I could I could sign up, show my schlort. <laughs> right there, you go. If I had a ten inch dick, I'd I'd have an OnlyFans too. Would you really? Fuck, why not? Yeah, why uh-huh. not? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 
All right. And send it out to like family members. Check, check out this link. <laughs> Here's your referral code. <laughs> You're like, that's me. That's my uh, cock. That's just wrong. Okay, shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. We're at the end of the show. <laughs> All right. Bob, you going to stay awake over there? I am. Are we All coming right. back on Tuesday? Yeah, we'll come back on Tuesday. We'll get it done. All right. All right. How did that white claw work out for you? I, I'll see where I'm at with it. I'm halfway there. Uh, oh, man. You want to take it easy on those. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be a dirty whore for you. Know man, it. if you drink Took four it. or five of them, you're liable to have a slight buzz. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, don't forget to subscribe and follow. Send us an email. Do something for the love of yeah. God. Live, live at the bar. Send us a bar. Christmas gift. Yeah. Live, at the, live at the bar at gmail.com or visit us at www.atthebar.us. Sorry I was so cranky this episode. Yeah, you Fuck were. <laughs> no, we're good. All right, hey, we'll see you Tuesday. Later. Bye. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Thanks for stopping by for a drink. I hope you enjoyed hanging out. Next time, invite some friends. Like and subscribe so you won't miss out the next time we are at the bar.